Hello fellow anglers. Uh, thank you for tuning in to what this video says. It's going to be a tips and just little tricks that you may not have known. Uh, I can guarantee you, even if you are the most, um, the best angler, maybe you're 200, 200 just like me, there are things in here you haven't thought about and you haven't, like, some things you just haven't uh, thought of and I think you could find useful. So, I made this video because I've been getting a lot of messages, either in game or under YouTube videos, comments, asking, you know, what are some tips? Can you teach me something? Can I learn? Can you learn me something? And uh, I can. I can and I will. So, that is what this video is. Uh, so, without further ado, we'll go ahead and get into it. So, tip number one. Okay, this is. I shouldn't have to say this, but I'm going to. Do not, do not, do not put your fishing pole in your hand. There's no reason why you, I should ever see a player with either nothing in their hands or a fishing pole in their hands. Put some type of weapon. It doesn't matter what it is, but it's just a weapon. I prefer Bloodletter. That is the go-to and a missed caller or some type of offhand. Uh, it is the best way to get out of hairy situations with a lot of mobility. Um, so yes, I'm, that's, all, that's all I'm going to say about it. I'm tired of seeing it. Put on a blood letter or some type of weapon when you're fishing. Do not have the fishing pole in your hand. All right. Sorry that I had to. I, I can't believe I even had to say that, but it is what it is. Now, tip number two. Know what you're fishing for. Are you fishing for fame because you want to level up and like be, you know, just get to TA and so you can fish for the higher things? Or do you want money? Are you trying to make a living? Are you trying to make, you know, literally millions because that's what you can make easy uh, fishing? If you're going for fame, then you need to go to the right places. The best place to fame farm fish is going to be any zone with an abundance of water, obviously. These are typically your swamps and your forest biomes. You go there and you just go from pool to pool, fishing and catching as many fish as you can, right? Then, if you really want a power farm, you eat all of the fish, like literally every single one um, that you have. Fish will give you half the fame you catch them for. So here I have a little example. I have a tier three, tier five, and tier seven ingredient fish. These are the best fish to eat. If you don't want to eat all of your fish in one sitting, maybe you want to do something else with it, eat these three fish uh, three types of fish so I'll go ahead and eat this one and it gives me 75 fame just for eating it so you catch it 150 um, T5 you'll get 150 fame just for eating the fish um, and I mean if you're good enough you can catch three or four in one set so there you go 150 um, just a little just to kind of show you guys here and catch T7 and if you can eat these I mean 225 boom i mean so uh, i literally just made so much you know uh, fame right there so know what you're fishing for if it's fame eat the fish your power level you'll move up so so much quicker you'll it, it'll expedite the process if you want money then you need to know what you're like what you want basically so you need to go out and catch as many fish as you can just catch, you know, catch fish. If you if you solely want to make money off fishing, catch as many fish as you can. The next thing you do is take that fish, and hopefully you have seaweed, but if not, it's pretty cheap. You can buy quite a bit for a couple hundred thousand. I mean, just get it in bulk. Um, and use that to uh, on the chef and make basic fish sauce, which is, isn't really good money. Fancy fish sauce is decent money. And special fish sauce is the best amount of money you can make. So I know this one takes 45 uh, chopped fish and three seaweed. These go for about 7,000 or 8K a piece. These take 135 and nine seaweed, but they go for 20,000 a piece. So if you can make 10, that's 200,000 right there. And that's just off of one little fishing trip. So now let's say you want fame and money okay you can do that there's there's a balancing act i recommend 
eating your ingredient fish because they will give you the most amount of fame. Uh, and T3, you know, you're not going to do anything with the T3 fish anyways. Um, so you'll expedite, you'll be leavenly up like that. And then you take the other fish, the, you know, whatever other fish you'll caught. Let's see what I have in here. Dangle mouth catfish, spotted trout, bright scale zanders, any other fish you catch, turn them into chopped fish and turn them into special fish sauce. By doing both of these, you'll be making money and you'll be leveling at the same time. So, that is if you want to make money, that is if you want fame, and that is if you want both. Um, also note, if you truly want to make the most amount of money, you should be targeting three types of fish. There are three money-making fish. The first one is going to be deadwater eels. The next one is going to be kraken. And the third one is going to be uh, crabs. So, I'll go ahead and show you what those look like just in case you're unfamiliar here we have boom deadwater eels those go for about 50k a piece so if you can catch two that's a hundred thousand right there in your pocket um kraken now these can only be found in ocean waters they're very dangerous to catch but you can do it also go for about 50k somewhere around there and i don't have any desto crabs but they can be caught in the uh what is it the desert biomes in the link in the description or maybe in the index box or something i'll have a link to a nice forum post with a nice little picture guide of where you can catch all of the types of fish and what biomes and everything like that it's very useful i recommend you go ahead and check that out after the video of course now tip number three get your gear ready ahead of time take treat this like a real fishing trip like you're really about to go out you want to make sure you have your bait your tackle and everything else you may need in between so what does that mean the best thing you can do is find out where you want to fish first so you look at your map you look at your map and you're like okay today I'm going for black ball clams okay oh here's a t7 thing okay for sure I'm gonna go there so you can literally go over to the guy be like all right hey man take me out there he takes you out there when you get there you need to buy uh, buy things here's what you need to buy pork pies preferably two bait whatever bait you can afford I personally go with tier three. I think tier five is a little bit overkill for the price, but it is what it is. If you have the means, do it. Uh, or maybe even simple, it doesn't matter. Just get bait and fisherman journals. Let me say it one more time. Fisherman journals, you need to buy them and fill them up. I prefer T7s. They take quite a bit to fish a fish to do it, but I can fill about two and a half an hour. Each one of those goes for about 80K. That's 160K extra on top of just fishing and doing whatever I make. So, let me go over it one more time. For your fishing trips, make sure you have pork pies, bait, and fisherman journals to fill. These are the things you're gonna need before every, every fishing trip. You may forget the book sometimes, I do, constantly, it happens. But if you can remember, you'll be making so much more money and you'll be making so much more progress. So, Moving on, tip number four. Use the swift claw as a mount. If you're going out fishing in any dangerous zone, use a swift claw. I know it doesn't have carrying capacity, but you won't need any where you're going. Get a nice bag. I prefer 6-1 because, well, 6-1 is like, people look at it, they're like, oh, that's not too good, so it doesn't really matter but it holds the same as seven, I mean, 158, as well as, I mean, your backpack. Your backpack will hold, I mean, other fish as well. So, use a cat, use a swift claw, if you have the means, or an armored horse, but do not, do not, do not go fishing on 
an ox or a boar or anything like that because if you get ganked and they can truly and they do dismount you you are then dead you'll be overweight and there's nothing you can pretty much do so you it's better to at least you know get on your swift claw and if even if you get dismounted you know you're not overweight you'll be okay and you at least have a means to survive but once you get dismounted and you can't move at 110 percent or 100 and you know 50 percent 200 percent whatever you're fishing with it, you're you're basically it's a death sentence so please 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 use a swift claw or an armored horse whatever you can afford when you're fishing okay Moving on to the next one, memorize pull locations. Find the zones that work best for you, whatever you like, and start to memorize where the spawns are, where you see the circling fish. After you've done it so many times, you'll know it'll be like, oh, I know I can go here. And look at them. If they have less fish than normal, you'll know that either somebody was recently here because there's only one, or maybe somebody was here a while ago because there's three, or there's no nobody's been here because it's full if there's no spot there then you'll know there's a fisherman literally right in front of you you can move ahead of him and start fishing in front of him so you guys so you're not fishing in his wake this will save you so much time and effort and kind of like heartache because you'll probably catch up to him anyways so go ahead get ahead of him start fishing in those spawns and memorizing where those pools are so you can save yourself a lot of time Alright, this is a big one. Tip number six. This is huge. This is huge. I need everybody to listen. Do not, do not fish in the black zones. There is no reason. There is no reason to ever fish in the black zones. You should stay on the Royal Continent where it's safe. The only fish that you can catch outside of the, that you can't catch on the Royal Continent is the deep water kraken that I showed you earlier. That is the only fish, oh, and some saltwater fish, like I can show you, I have some, uh, steel scale swordfish and bluefin tuna, amongst a little, a couple other um, ocean ocean fish. But either way, it's not worth it. They, they do the same exact thing as dangle mouth catfish. So unless you're specifically going out to catch kraken, do not fish in the black zone. Stay on the royals where it's safe, there, there's no there's no reason. You can catch every T7 ingredient fish that you may ever want to catch right here on the Royals. So. Moving on, tip number seven. This comes with staying in the Royals. Be alert. Always keep your eye on the red counter at the bottom right of your screen. Uh, you know, when you're in the zone. If the zone starts getting really hot and full of reds, be on guard. You know, just maybe sit on your mount a little longer, wait, kind of just watch that number. And just basically base your gameplay and how, you know, how you're moving based on that number. If there's 10 reds, if 10 reds all, like, all, suddenly all appear, maybe slow it down, wait, you know, just okay, but should be on edge. If they suddenly disappear, maybe it was just a Hellgate, maybe it was a conditional, and you can you know continue playing. But keep your eye on that red counter. Just always have it there. If it's zero, you're cool, you know. But with that, know where the nearest exit is. Look at each zone, wherever you are, I'll take stump for a spot, and know which if I'm fishing down here, okay, if I do get ganked, I'm gonna come this way. Okay, I'm fishing over here. Okay, it's probably best if I do get ganked to run this way. You know, if you're fishing in the center, I mean, right here, you probably want to come down. So just keep your eye on each exit at all times because you'll never know when that gank is coming. But when it comes, you need to be ready for it and have a game plan. All right. There's a little one I'll teach you. I showed it in another video, but maybe not everybody saw it. It's a nice little tip. I sadly don't have any things, but that's okay. Oh, never mind. I can't actually do it like that. 
but basically when you have bait oh here we go let me do it with this imagine this is bait you can intermingle your potions slash bait with anything so as you can see boom i can still use it boom i can still use it so you can put a piece of bait on use it and then switch back to whatever potion you want to use i use healing potions because if i get ganked i'm gonna want some more health um, you can use resistance you can use invisibility whatever you feel comfortable with but put a piece of bait on use it so you have 10 over here and then switch back to your potion or whatever you want to use and just you can keep doing that it won't reset the cooldowns all right the final final tip for today is that if you have pesky fishermen who are keep coming up next to you trading you trying to duel you and it's causing you to lose fish and i think we've all been there i'm pretty sure we've all been there go to your game settings go to general and come down to invitations auto deny all of these click all of them this makes it so even if they try to invite you it won't do anything. You won't lose that fish. Nothing will pop up. You don't have to click your screen. You'll be okay. You can even do it back to them over and over if they don't know about it. And so it happens a lot. Uh, well, not a lot, but only, you know, some people are mean. People are mean and they will try to sabotage your fishing. So if that is becoming a problem, go ahead and go into game settings and auto deny all of these. Um, Keep in mind that if you have friends and they're trying to invite you, it will auto deny that. So turn it off. Um, but while you're fishing, it is a major, major plus. All right. Well, I hope you've learned a thing or two. Maybe you learned some. Um, these are just a few, literally just a taste of the fishing tips that uh, I have in store. If you would like a full guide on where the best zones are and how to be more efficient in fishing, consider join, joining Anglers Anonymous. You know, it's, it's a nice guild. Uh, here we go, this is what the guild looks like. We're just, it's all, we, everything's fishing. I got my trophy sharks crafted by me, caught my own sharks. You got workers, I'm about to hit T7 actually, so 10, 10 fishermen workers. It's, yeah, I, I recommend you join and um, if you do join, you'll be invited to the Discord, which has a full guide on how you can make 500,000 silver. No joke, literally 500,000 silver in 30 minutes at a, as a T6 fisherman. If you like that, consider joining. Um, just let me know. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned something. Uh, just hope you guys all have a nice rest of your day, and uh, as always, happy fishing.